Good morning, Believe Nation. Today's message is do one thing. Over to you, Robert Rodriguez. I wake up every morning. Espresso, keep me going. I wake up every morning. There's this book called The One Thing. Have you seen that? It says you should just do one thing. And I go, well, I shouldn't even bother reading that. That doesn't apply to me. But then I thought about it. It's like, well, I do one thing. I live a creative life. Everything you do, you apply creativity to it, whether it's the way you meet with a friend and, and make them dinner or you do stuff with your kids. And then when you go and you're, you're working on an idea and you're doing music at the same time while you're on the set, and you're, you're never in a block because you're always actually in a flow. If you don't live your life creatively and then you set aside some time at night to go write your novel, you're going to get a block because you're not in the flow. But if you apply creativity to everything in your life, everything is available to you to where you suddenly can paint. Like you'll see paintings I did with the actors. Even though they're very creative in the acting world, they didn't think they could paint. So I made them paint and then they saw that they were able to because when you're in a creative flow, you can do just about anything. So it's all about living a creative life to where you can't possibly ever get blocked because you're always, okay, well, I'm not, I have an idea for writing, so I'm going to go cook something, which is art you can eat, you know, and you're serving it, and you're eating it, and consuming it, and you're creating, and you go back, and you do that. Does that make sense? It's almost yeah, like, there's no, yeah, there's there's no structure boxes there's no, around there's it. No, it's like you know, the lifestyle. delineation between work and play. It's all play. This is why it's so important to find your one word, because it's not just about doing one thing, one task. It's about living one way, your way on purpose and knowing what that is. So if I look at this clip as an example, Robert's one word is likely creative, right? He wants to be creative. He wants to live in a creative way. It's not just doing one task all day long, but doing creative work all day long. That's where he comes alive. And if you tried to put Robert in a room with no doors and no windows and just lock him in there in the cell and told him what to do, he would die. If you starved all the creativity out of him, and forced him to do something, he would hate it. He would struggle. Nobody would know who he was. And that's most people. Most people have no idea who they are and are stuck in a box that somebody else has made for them. And they don't know how to get out. They don't know what their one word is. They don't know how to break free. They don't know how to design a life on purpose. It's why it's so important to understand what the one word is for you that now you can create something and design it a life and a business around what you want to do. So let's look at creativity. Let's look at Robert a little bit more. All the people that he surrounds himself with should be people who help him be more creative. All the content that he consumes on a daily basis. I don't know what his habits are. Is he reading books? Is he watching YouTube videos? Is he checking out the news? Is he going to theaters? Is he going to the movies? Like the content that he consumes should make him feel more creative his daily habits and rituals, whatever that looks like, whether it's meditation or doing yoga or you know, watching some YouTube videos, watching an espresso in the morning, those things should be designed to help him be more creative. And so once you understand what the one word is for you, what the one way is for you, when you figure that out, then you look at your life. You look at what your typical weekly schedule looks like. You look at the things that you're consuming on a daily basis. You look at the people that you're hanging around with constantly. And how many of those people, activities, and things help that one way, help that one word come out of you? And for a lot of people at the start, it's a really sobering experience. For a lot of people, like if you're unhappy with your life, if you feel like you have a huge ceiling and you're not anywhere close to reaching your potential, it's because a lot of the people, things, and habits that you have on a daily basis are not coming out. They're suppressing you. They're keeping you in your box. And it starts because you don't even have the self-awareness to know what your one word is. You don't have the self-awareness to know what the one thing is that you should be doing. What the one way of living is that you should be living. So figure it out. Then do an audit of your life and the habits and the things that are around you. Say, does this help me believe more or create more or care more. It's the unlock. It gives you certainty, it gives you clarity, it gives you power and it lets you do amazing things. So the question today today is, I'm curious, what is the one way that you wanna live? What is the one word core value for you? 
And once you figure that out, what's one thing that you need to start changing? What's the one thing in your life that does not support you being creative or believing or caring more? And you need to eliminate that from your life. Super curious to find out. Leave it down in the comments below and we'll join in the discussion. I also want to give a quick shout out to Peter Oji. Peter, thank you so much for picking up a copy of my book, Your One Word. I really, really, really appreciate the support. Thank you guys so much for watching. I believe in you. I hope you continue to believe in yourself and whatever your one word is. And I'll see you again tomorrow morning for another shot of Espresso. I wake up every morning. Espresso, keep me going.